all righty so let's check this out here uh let's play the whole thing i think this is fantastically better i think the stages are clear there's a little tiny camera tweaks i think that we could do uh, but you sent me the maya files so i'm gonna take a look at that probably the biggest thing would be the transition between here and here uh, but we can work on that timing wise i think the only thing that's going to be the biggest change would be this section through here Just, like he, this guy seems pretty heavy uh compared to this guy and i think given the force that's a bit much i don't think it would go this this far it might just be a whew, boom, tumble like this looking at the force here he kind of shakes him off so yeah to me it seems like maybe till here so it might be a hit on the back with a roll slide into this pose and he would he would end up here i think that would totally work and just watch out that's just a bit too fast. I know this is all still very rough, but as you go into your breakdowns and potentially with, you know, some arc changes or you go into something like this, uh, the speed at which the head goes up would still be slower and not stop so quickly. But I know this is rough, so this wouldn't be a fair critique on something that's clearly rough. Now, you are talking about... Um, the eating action here. I'm checking your mail and you are actually writing here. The shot is still super rough. Totally get it. So I think to me it would be, in terms of the eating aspects, I think it could be needs to have, you so that you don't have to linger on this moment so much. You could have a, starts here and imagine it gets to this twice the amount of time and you would see this piece come out and then you could almost bring up the back or the head or you know, the stomach area of the other creature. And this piece can always be behind, visually behind the, whatever it is, the chest or the stomach. So you don't have to show contact points, right? You don't have to show how it rips, but you just show how the thing comes up and then, and then it comes up here, meaning that it kind of rips off and that thing would swing up, do that. And then the thing would drop down back again. So we, we kind of understand also what he's eating just a tiny bit more. And it could also just be fun to do. And in that way, you would have the pull, and then it would rip, have him go up, but I would bring that, bring that head up into an arc like this. And then it could just be an adjustment, so you would do pull, right? And you got a part of the chest coming up here, and then you do, and you hold that a bit, like from here to here would be a couple more frames. And by a couple, I mean like seven or eight, it could be a little bit of a hold, tear, bow. and then as this comes up like this, and the body goes back down, your dino head would do an arc like this. It would go up, but then over into here. And when you stop here, you can do a, you can do a, so here into this, and you can do a move like this. Meaning that once you're here, you bring that head up so you can swing that piece into its mouth so that this action just happens just a bit sooner, right? So you do up, over, and then up, which is basically this move, which you have here. But I would just bring this around here so that we don't go as high. I wouldn't, because then we have to tilt up a bit. It's a bit too high in terms of the framing. So imagine this action happening around here-ish. And then what I would do is I would have a little bit of a type of a swallow. So that when you're done with this, I wouldn't go straight down into this. It'd just be neat to show some. And you can have, and then you can tilt the head over and have a bit of a humble chewing. Maybe the body buckles up a bit and then the head goes down and leads. So that's kind of the type of stuff that I would do. And then maybe to get into a move where we don't want to see too much and like why would the dinosaur be so low for so long? Which no one is asking that question. <laughs> but I'm just saying if the head goes down, you can technically bring those arms in and they will claw and hold the body and then maybe the body could um, hide part of the nose. You know what I mean? Like, we'll be covered. We don't show contact points. It would just be almost as a cheat, you know. The claws go underneath, maybe one claw on top to bring that head up. But then I would, that's the action I would do for the eating. And then for those who are here, it would just be, imagine, step, 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 you know, right, left, right, left, whatever it is, whatever rhythm you have but that way the head will pop into frame more without being too fast but it'll be kind of a step step so it's definitely a clear getting into frame 
That's cool. And then, you know, I can, when I look at the scene, I can experiment with well, what at this point we actually tilt up a bit. Why not? So it's to really communicate to the audience what's going on. I mean, you can also, for just visual cues, imagine you are, you are finishing your steps here, which is cool. One idea that I thought, what if he comes in step, step, and then the last step with this would be sooner and really clawing over that edge so that the foliage would move a bit and then little pieces of stone will come down so that, you know, there's really movement here and stuff moving here. Just in case the audience is still looking here, there's just enough stuff going on over here to motivate a look to the left and then we can tilt up a bit. Maybe we would have to extend the shop a couple of frames. I don't know, we can kind of experiment with, with that. And then you can always kind of finish a little bit of a tilt up in here. Again, I'll play around with this. And I will probably pan over just a little bit as well so that it's not so um, tight here in terms of the framing. And I kind of reframe a bit so that, not that this is forming a full on tangent. It's not like it's here. But we can also kind of break that a bit more. And then that way on this, I would also tilt and pan over. In terms of the action though, comes in. So I, what I would do is personally, I would close that mouth, comes in, concentrated, closed mouth, these guys rotate it down and then it would stop and there would be a moment of, so the things would flare up and it's almost like his sensory thing goes, ah, here's the prey. So this would go first and then the, the mouth would open into a little bit of a growl, not so huge. And then close again to then jump. And let's see here, there's something. Watch out, you're bringing your head forward this way and then up this way. That is my dog, speaking of dinosaurs. You know in Jurassic Park when the, the raptors get into the kitchen with the raptor claw? So we call our dog Raptor Dog. He just opened my, <laughs> my office door, he's so funny. So instead of this, just make sure that it's a nicer clean arc this way not such a sharp direction change just feels like he's just going to jump straight up but then whoa it's only the body goes over this way but that is as you rough this or go from rough to <clears throat> more blocked out stuff timing wise watch out i think i buy everything till here and then he really slides down glides down this this will work with arms out and and some wings but to make sure that this really accelerates and then we can easily pan over. And then let's see, if you do this, gee, why not? I mean, it could land like this and just crush the dinosaur and slide, which makes more sense here, hold on. Because for a second I was gonna say, what if he comes sideways and they tumble? <laughs> makes it so much more complicated. But I think this could work as a and just flat and slide. But as we would tilt and pan for sure over, that would work. And then what I would, what I'm going to do is, I don't think I might even have a translate. I mean, you do want to end here, but I might experiment with, if this is your end framing, the throw and turnaround gives you a lot of room in terms of where we end up. So I will probably do this with a mostly pan. I will try a little bit of translate this way, maybe. And it might just be this end framing set wise will be in a different position. But I think boom, in, ter in terms of that squashing down would be kind of cool. And then you can have little arms down here, push himself up, lift up like that. But then I would have arms down and the head down, right? So the head is there. Arr, that's my face here, my teeth. And the neck goes up into this, right? And then back legs go up first. So you got your crawly hands here, back up. And then because of that, maybe the creature dozer starts to readjust and maybe puts his legs back there so that the balance goes a bit more back there. Uh, kind of as a cheat so that um, maybe then at that point the leg can come forward, right? So one leg is back here, one's back there uh, in front of it so that it gives a bit more stabilization so that the head can come up. And then I would do what I said before, it's more like a... It's like a horse trying or a, a bull trying to get whatever is on their back, to get off their back. So it, to me, it would be less of a throw. Just be very, very 
far. Also, your arc feels like it's doing this and then speed up and slow down here. So I think you could totally do get off my back here with a land on the on the on the, his back and then roll over into this. Because I think that way that would makes a bit more sense. I think weight wise it would make a bit more sense. Also, we're having a back roll, which is different than a flatten here. But also, if you have a, a roll here and a roll here, it might be too similar. So I think that would be cool. We keep this as a squishing flattening slide. And then this will be a roll over rawr, into that. And then you can do a rawr, rawr, and they both yell at each other at the end. Rawr. Okay. So I personally would work on this, this section here, and then I would um, send me this separately, right? So instead of doing this whole sequence, uh, I think I would concentrate full on, on in all your time on a shopper shop basis now. This and then this and then that and then that. Uh, but that's just me. I mean, unless you want to do every shot just a little bit more and just gradually bring all of the shots up in for the sequence, that's totally up to you. Alrighty, that is it from me. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.